Hey, this is Ryan from SlideLock. I wanted to show you a quick walkthrough on a container we're making for Biotech Marine, which is available at uh, Aquarium Specialty. In this particular container, often referred to as a shroom box, can go by a lot of different names, uh, but uh, this particular coral container is jam-packed with features you don't normally see on this, uh, and so we're gonna roll through it as quickly as I can. Um, first things first, it has optional magnets that hold a tremendous amount of weight, but those go on the back here, and so this side's often against the glass. The top edge does not inhibit light into the tank, so I went ahead and put uh, up to eight coral plugs that you can put in there, just again to maximize your space, because most of us have a lack of space in our systems as it is. So you can put up to eight plugs in there. Holes are a little bit oversized, so if there's a vermitid on one of those stems, you can yank it out of there fairly easily. Next thing that you're gonna notice is that for our friends with the Eurobrace to uh, acrylic tanks or conventional rim tank for uh, glass, uh, a flip lid can be problematic. And so there's little tabs here that you can use, of course, with your fingers, or if this is at the very bottom of the tank, you can use a coral tongs, but it's just friction fit doors that open up and they swing so that you can gain access. The larger container, this one being about eight inches long with a four by four uh, on the side, the doors open past the opening to give you a little bit more access and ease of use. Um, but we've got that on there because again, that way those lids don't have to flip them up, it makes it easy. The black bottom is removable and that's gonna be a critical feature of this, uh, one of several. And so first things first, if you have a, a more docile fish you're introducing into the system, let's say a uh, uh, mandarin or some kind of invert or a tiger pistol shrimp that you don't want to get lost because of how small it is for now. You can go ahead and put that plate in there, put sand or any other substrate that you want, PVC pipes, but the dark color helps to calm those animals down so that they don't feel exposed, they don't feel like they're hovering out in space in the middle of your tank uh, for that time being. And then for those people who aren't familiar, normally what you would use that for with the corals is you put your rubble in there and then you'll have you know, your different mushrooms or other particularly soft corals that have a hard time attaching, you'll drop them in there on top of that substrate and over the course of several days or several weeks, they attach, pull them out. And so if somebody wants the aesthetical look of having that rubble, that's a great way to do that. What this does a little differently is that rubble isn't always convenient. So you can remove that plate and then it should become brutally apparent right away that the, there's a multitude of holes in the bottom. The large container holds 50 plugs, uh, 50 standard plugs from Biotech. And then the bottom, uh, the small one rather, excuse me, holds 25 plugs. So it's half that size. And so the different types of plugs that this is specifically fit for is that you can take their standard small plug and they will fit end to end, side to side, and allows you to have, say, mushrooms in there. And whatever plug they attach to, push that one plug out, and now you can mount it wherever you want. Put it into a conventional frag rack, for instance. Put it up here across the top, put a new plug in there because now you've got something else that's growing or expanding, perhaps your zoa colony. Uh, it also fits their two inch tiles as well as uh, their four inch tiles perfectly. If you want a large tile, the two four inch tiles side by side for this one, one tile in the small container works extremely well for that. The next feature, which is the one that excites me personally the most, is that, because I'm dealing with it right now, is let's say you've got, in my case it's a Favia, but let's say you've got a uh, Wolverine Acro, or you've got a Oregon Blue Tort, um, or you've got a uh, Orange Passion, right? That's the most Orange Passion orange I've ever seen. But uh, you've got those in there and they started to recede because they're out in your tank and when that recession happens, all of a sudden the tang gang shows up and they start pecking at the edge to get at that new algae, which can cause further recession. And so it just keeps receding and receding until eventually you lose the specimen oftentimes. And so instead you can pluck that coral out, put it in here, obviously close the lids, which by the way, soft coral like a colt, one lid open is really convenient on the big container cuts down on the amount of turbulence as water's passing by, because you know if you open up both, they're like a nephthia, they just take off and they're gone. Um, but uh, you close the lids, obviously, it keeps the fish out of there uh, for the time being, but that's really not the coolest part. The best part is 
that many of us understand the importance of iodine. We understand the importance if you uh, picked up some phyto from Algae Barn, for instance, or if you've got, um, you know, from Brightwell, maybe you've got, uh, you know, their amino acids and you're putting that in or some KZ or whatever your product of choice is. And so you're putting that in there. You can put your dosing line right into the side. There are ventilation holes to let the current through, but it's going to be slow. So you can hypersaturate that coral with whatever element you happen to be dosing to help feed and rejuvenate that coral and get it on the path to recovery faster. And then it will dissipate out into the tank like normal. So again, gives them a great chance to be hyper exposed to that particular element, trigger that feeding response. Maybe you've got a plate coral that uh, your shrimp just keep going nuts for. So you put that in there to keep it protected while you're feeding it. But uh, you know, until you can figure out a better solution. Um, for the shrimp mainly. <laughs> so anyways, hopefully that uh, tells you guys all the different features that are going on. The legs, of course, are on the bottom just to explain or for when the stems uh, don't hit the bottom and don't get pushed out on their own. So if you have any other questions, feel free to shout. But again, uh, Ryan from SlideLock just showing you the new biotech marine container available through Aquarium Specialty.